Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Inside Tonight. If you can hear this, please send food and supplies. I'm running dangerously low and I'm getting scared. <coughs> Joining me now is the CEO of Virgin Australia, Terry Branson. Just call me Tezza, mate. Sure thing, Mr. Branson. Now, we've heard that you've applied for a $1.4 billion bailout package. Is that true? Yeah, we've gotten into some strife, hello. Had to cancel a few flights, but we sorted all the money stuff. So, did you get the bailout? Yeah, ScoMo said he was good for it. That's great news. Your workers must be so relieved. Well, we still have to let them go. But I made it up to them. Invited them to my brother Richard's place in the Caribbean. But how are they going to get there if you've cancelled all the flights? That's a good question. Well then, also joining me now is a taxpayer and a man with many opinions, Larry Lahrman. Larry? Well, I just think if they can't manage their business effectively, why do I, the taxpayer, have to bail them out for their mistakes? Compelling argument. Would you care to respond, Tezza? You say your name is Larry Lahrman? Uh, yeah, that, that's correct. Thought so. Just making sure. Okay. Larry, do you want to add anything? If a company can't handle no income for 12 months, it really shouldn't be in business. I, for example, have been laid off and I'm going to be fine. Oh, so you're not receiving any government benefits during this time? Yeah, well, I'm on the dole for now, but that's just temporary. Hey, guess what, Larry? Remember those 60,000 virgin points that you had? Well, they're all mine now. Wait, what? What do you think about that? I'm gonna buy me some fancy diamond neck pillows! No. Huh? What about no, that? No, it took me years ah. to get those points. You can't do that. <laughs> Gentlemen, please be civil. This is a news Woo. program. Hey, Larry, Larry, where, where are you going? This interview is not... Well, in other news, despite recent reports, Kim Jong-un is alive and doing great. All praise to our glorious leader. Kim Jong -un. 